crispy, buttery, deliciously sweet Mexican galletas, a staple in any panaderia and for good reason. I'm Jenna and I'm a professional baker and a cultural junkie looking to explore the world through arts and food. And today I'm going to show you how you can make these Mexican cookies right at home. Start off by creaming together butter and vegetable shortening in a bowl or stand mixer. Add in some white sugar and Mexican vanilla and mix until combined. Add in two eggs, one at a time. Make sure they're room temperature so they incorporate into the batter easily. As long as your wet ingredients are all room temperature, this recipe is pretty difficult to mess up. Add in the baking powder and flour and give everything a good mix. I'm using my hands to show you that you don't need expensive equipment to bake really great cookies. If you do have a stand mixer, go and have at it. Mix everything together at medium speed until combined. Dump the dough onto a lightly floured surface and give it a few turns to make a rough disc. Roll it out about a quarter to a half an inch thick. If you need a rough guide, roll it out about the width of your pinky finger. The thicker the cookie, the chewier it will be. Use a circle cutter or a drinking glass to cut circles out of the dough. Pop them onto a parchment or silicone lined baking sheet. You're going to need a pastry brush and a little bit of egg wash, which is just an egg that's taken a beating. Put them aside and prepare the sprinkles first. I'm using nonpareils, which are these tiny ball shaped sprinkles, but they're great with regular sprinkles and even mini chocolate chips. Brush the egg wash onto the cookies. If you don't have a pastry brush, use your hands or a paper towel to slather it on. Once they're coated, plop them into the sprinkles egg side down and gently press them to coat. In my region of the US, we say sprinkles, but you might know them as tens and thousands, shots, or jimmies, depending on where you live. Put them back on the tray and pop them into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how light you like your cookies. And that's it, guys. Full recipes on my blog. Try it and let me know what you think.